Hey y'all, I'm Rachel, owner and artist at Stella Rose Boutique here in Greenville, Tennessee. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and mash that notifications bell so you don't miss a future video. I try to upload twice a week. I haven't been successful with that for the last couple of weeks because we have been blessed with being able to move into our own shop location. So Stella Rose Boutique is now inside of Stella Rose Mercantile. I will bring you more about this in a future video. Today's video is a collaboration between myself and two of my good girlfriends, Brianna from Upcycled by Bree and Lisa from Lisa Boone Designs. So come with me as you and I are gonna go thrifting for Bree, and when we get home, we're gonna open up the package that Lisa sent me. Let's go! Hey guys, I wasn't able to find anything at Missy's This and That for uh, anything to be upcycled or thrifted. So I decided to come down to Ruthie's Thrift Store here in Greenville, and I'm gonna see what they've got here at this store. So come with me as I check it out. I found all kinds of great stuff here at Ruthie's in downtown Greenville, including this two-piece set. I don't know what it was originally made for. If you guys know, tell us in the comments. It's a resin type material, but I knew that my girlfriend Bree from Upcycled by Bree would know just what to do with it. So I packed it on up, took it to the Greenville Post Office, and off she went to my girlfriend Bree. And then when I got home, I opened up my package that Lisa Boone sent me from Lisa Boone Designs. I love this. Oh, cool. How neat is this? Oh, I love it. I got my screwdriver and I took apart the clock so that I could clean and disinfect all parts of it because this was found in a thrift store. Once I got it apart, I used the goo gone to get the stuff, the sticky stuff that was on the glass off. I removed the pins on the front of the clock that were representing the numbers on the front face. And I took out the mechanism that was running the clock and I will replace that at the end of the video. I was going to decoupage part of this and I painted it with DIY crinoline and then I changed my mind. So I went back and I painted it with apothecary and then I went and added cake batter and French millinery and my own custom blush pink that I made, mixing petticoat pink, cowgirl coral, and a little bit of bohemian blue. And then you see how easy it is to blend DIY paint. I added a little bit of water with my turquoise iris fine mist water sprayer and see how easy this is. I'm using my Klingon short 30 brush, which is my favorite brush. And look, it is the easiest paint to blend. See? And I took out my heat gun to speed up the drying process. And then I painted the back side of the clock with the same apothecary French millinery cake batter and my custom blended blush color. Look how easy it is, again, to blend. Anybody can paint with DIY paint. So I took out my big top, which is made by DIY, and I sealed the entire piece. So I would have it ready to add my Painterly Florals transfer from IOD. Look at this transfer. It is full of eight pages of all this floral goodness. When you apply your transfer, you wanna burnish it. When it's down, this is what you see me doing here with the back piece of the transfer. This makes sure that all the edges have adhered completely to your piece. I added the mechanism in that controls the clock and then I put the glass back in, assembled the whole clock, and then I decided it needed some more flowers. So I added the lavender to the front and then I sealed the entire piece back up with my DIY big top. 
all of the paint and products used in today's video you'll find over on my website at stellarosboutique.co and in my shop, Stella Rose Boutique, inside of Stella Rose Mercantile at 524 Justice Drive in Greenville, Tennessee. If you like videos like this, please hit that subscribe button and you won't miss any of my upcoming trash to treasures, thrift flips, how-to tutorials, and just everyday upcycling old furniture and making it new home decor again. Thank you for watching. I had a blast doing this with my girlfriends Bree from Upcycled by Bree and Lisa Boone from Lisa Boone Designs. Thanks for watching. Bye.